Hey, what is going on guys? Talk Norris City here, back for my match preview of this Saturday's game against Liverpool. It's the early kickoff and I am buzzing for it. I'm sure most of you guys are going. And hello to all of my new subscribers over from the Red Men TV. Good to have you on board this Norwich City channel. Um, anyway, let's get some stats out of the way. So Liverpool have won nine and drawn two of the last 11 games against Norwich City. Of course, one of them draws coming this season when that famous Russell Martin goal went in. Um, we played decent that day, actually, and we should have really gone on to win the game against the Liverpool side that, at the time, wasn't really firing on all cylinders under a, under a much scrutinised Brendan Rodgers. Um, but Liverpool have won just one and scored one goal in their last four away games. So they travelled to Carrow Road uh, in not great away form. I mean, they're playing some decent football under Jurgen Klopp. They've had good wins against Manchester City and, and Chelsea, but... I watched them against Manchester United on Sunday and they just didn't look that impressive. Yes, they are blighted with injuries at the moment. They've got Coutinho out, they've got Sturridge out, you know, a few other players. But even the likes of like Firmino and it just wasn't really looking that great for them. But I'm not saying that Liverpool aren't a good team, you know, they're still fighting for like the European positions. It's just that I don't think Jurgen Klopp's got the team he wants at the moment, and I think it could be a lot better. But when you put the likes of Firmino in the team and, and Benteke, there's still a lot of danger there. Um, Norwich City, I'm beating at five at Carroll Road to get into this game really good. Um, I mean, let's not forget our last ho game at home was... It was against, well, Man City in the Cup, but before that was against Southampton. So we're coming off the back of two straight home wins if you're taking just home uh, form. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm, f I'm genuinely feeling confident about this game. Like, I think the sign is, have definitely helped. They came at the right, right time. They were announced at the right time. And I think if we can bed them in into the Liverpool game, it's, it's going to be good because players who are new to the club are obviously going to be fired up. Even if they don't necessarily fit into the team, it usually still works. Um, so that's really exciting to see. And of course, Stephen Naismith with the Everton links, it's all very exciting. And it was a great PR stunt, not stunt, from Norwich City, but they certainly announced it at the right time after two dis really disappointing defeats to Stoke. Um, and Bournemouth. Another good stat for Norwich City is Liverpool have the second worst shot conversion rate in the whole of the Premier League, but they have had the second most shots in the league. Only Aston Villa have a worse shot conversion rate. Uh, I think Liverpool's is something like 10%, which is absolutely dreadful. Um, so it shows that they're wasteful in front of goal, mainly because they haven't really got they, well, they haven't had a regular run from a from a striker this season. You know, Benteke's been in and out of the team. Origi's been in and out of the team. Sturridge came back and then got injured again. Ings played a bit and then got injured. You know, they haven't had consistency up front. And I think that doesn't help, especially then when you've got like uh, Firmino and, and Coutinho and Lallana sitting in behind who are kind of acting in strikers in certain games. So... I'm I'm genuinely feeling positive for this. I think a draw would be a good result, but I genuinely think we're going to win this game. And I'm not saying that with Norwich bias. I think even some neutral fans would think that because Norwich are a good team at home. We're a good team, um, especially with the new additions. I mean, we've spent £20 million in the last week. That's a lot of money. Add that into the team we've already got. You're starting to look at a decent Premier League team then. That's very exciting. Um, I mean, how do we play? Look, check and take a look at my predicted eleven. But I think we need to play counter-attacking football to a certain extent, but also, you know, try and hold possession because Liverpool's midfield isn't that strong. I mean, it's good. You've got like Lucas and Chant, Henderson. Actually, that is pretty decent. Um, but I think we can hold the ball and just take the game to Liverpool. You know, start to get balls whipped in the box. They're one of the shortest teams in the Premier League. They concede a lot from set pieces and a lot from crosses. Just get balls in there and play with wit through Jarvis and Redmond. That's all you have to do. When you start delivering them balls, one of them will work. And we also need to take advantage of set pieces. It's a real shame that Gary O'Neill isn't available for this game because he's a really great set piece taker. Uh, but hopefully Robbie Brady can deliver and I don't know who takes it from the other side, Johnny Harrison or someone. But get the crosses in, get the set pieces in, play basic football and hopefully we'll be fine. I'm feeling confident. It'd be great to get a win um, because, you know, we are touch and go with that relegation uh, zone again. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Leave me your score predictions. I'm going for a 2-1, no. Yeah, 2-1 Liverpool. No, not 2-1 Liverpool, 2-1 Norwich. I'm going for a 2-1 Norwich. Let me know if you agree with that. Thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe. Hello to all of the new Redmen TV fans who've come over. Big thanks to you guys. And of course, all of you Norwich fans who I will be seeing at Carrow Road on Saturday. Thanks for watching and peace out.